story books for kids. <laughs> Up all night. It was bedtime for Timmy Turner. He propped himself up on his pillow and crossed his arms. Going to sleep is no fun, Timmy complained. Timmy thought of all the neat things he could do if he didn't have to sleep. Sleep is a very important part of your day, Timmy, Cosmo said. Cosmo is right, Timmy, Wanda agreed. I need my sleep, otherwise I can't stay awake to grant wishes. Well, I would rather stay up all night long, Timmy replied. I wish there was no bedtime at all. Cosmo and Wanda made Timmy's wish come true. Life just got a whole lot better, Timmy said, changing out of his pyjamas and tossing them under the bed. Just then, Timmy's parents walked into his room. We are off to an all-night card game, Timmy's father declared. We should be back tomorrow night, dear, said Timmy's mother. Vicky will be here any minute to babysit. Before Timmy could say a word, the doorbell rang. His parents let Vicky in and said goodbye. Hey, twerp, do you know what time it is? Vicky asked. No, Timmy replied. Time to do whatever I say, said Vicky, with a wicked grin. I hope you know there are some rules around here, Timmy said. I can stay up as late as I want and do whatever I want. Of course you can stay up as late as you want, said Vicky. But you will do whatever I want. Welcome to babysitting boot camp, shouted Vicky, as she dragged a huge trunk into the house. First, shine all 300 pairs of my shoes, said Vicky. But that could take all night, cried Timmy. Well, it's a good thing you do not have a bedtime, Vicky said. Timmy sighed heavily and started shining the shoes. Do not forget to use polish, Vicky shouted from the other room. You want polish? I will show you polish, muttered Timmy, as he spit all over her shoes. A few hours later, Timmy was finished. I am glad I do not have to go to sleep, he told Cosmo and Wonder. I still have all night to do whatever I want. As soon as he got to his bedroom, Vicky threw open the door and stormed into his room. I am hungry, Vicky announced. Go downstairs and make me a pizza. Timmy said no. Okay then, I will make a big mess in the kitchen and tell your parents you did it. Timmy headed to the kitchen and began fixing Vicky a pizza. 
Cosmo and Wanda were trying hard not to fall asleep. But just watching Timmy was tiring. When he was done, Timmy yawned and said, Good thing I still have all night to do whatever I want. Good eats, kid, said Vicky, licking her fingers. Now I have more energy to boss you around. Get back to work. Vicky made Timmy do her math, science and history homework. His eyes were feeling very heavy, but Vicky was still wide awake. Next, Vicky pulled out a pink dress and handed it to Timmy. Time to fix my dress, she said. No way, he said. I am not wearing a dress again. But Timmy was too tired to fight. This is silly, muttered Timmy. I wish I did not have to wear these clothes. Although they were very tired, Cosmo and Wanda made Timmy's wish come true. Poof. Sorry, Timmy, Cosmo said sleepily. Just doing our job. When Vicky turned around and saw Timmy in his underwear, she fell on the floor laughing. Timmy ran to his room. While Timmy put on his pyjamas, his fairy godparents popped into their fishbowl. Let's just close our eyes for a minute. Wanda suggested. Good idea. Cosmo replied. Meanwhile, Timmy was having the worst night of his life. I wish my bedtime was right now, he yelled. Nothing happened. He repeated his wish. Oh no, Timmy shouted. Cosmo and Wanda are sound asleep. Then Vicky burst into his room again. This room is too clean, she said. Vicky opened Timmy's closet and threw all of his clothes on the floor. Then she dumped out his toy box. Finally, she grabbed the fishbowl and emptied it on Timmy's bed. Cosmo and Wanda hit the bed and woke up. Well, Wanda did anyway. Five more minutes, Mom, said Cosmo. Oh, wake up, Cosmo. Timmy needs us, said Wanda. Okay, Timmy, make a wish. I wish it was bedtime, said Timmy. Poof. Timmy was all tucked in with his pink hat on the pillow beside him. It sure feels good to be in bed, he said. Oh, Timmy, said Vicky with a huge pair of scissors in her hand. Time for a haircut. Timmy opened one eye and said, And I wish Vicky would fall asleep until my parents come home. Puff. Good night. The end. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.